what's going on guys get it what's w-a-t-t-s what's that's what we're going to be talking about today with the new field piece se 480 the new feature that everybody's wanting is watts they want to see a big w up there on that dial because that's the new cool thing in meter technology so we could do this out at the outdoor unit but it's a lot cooler when we do it in here because it makes a little more sense because we have this unit in emergency heat and we have the heaters fired up right now and if you see right here we have two breakers a 30 and a 60 so we have 5 kW or 5 kilowatts of heat over here one heater and we have two here so that is 10 kW so when we put this meter on watts and check that we should come up somewhere close to 5 kilowatts over here and 10 kilowatts over here so just visually it makes more sense because of all these heaters back here in the back so just to verify our electric heat the first thing we want to do uh, and some of you guys ask about the light we do have the jaw light here you can see how well that lights everything up and we do have the magnetic strap on the back so we're good to go on both of those I know a couple of you guys asked that question so what we're going to do right now we're going to go ahead and verify our heaters and we've got our amps turned on there and you can see that we have 40 amps so that's two heaters running about 20 amps a piece so both of those heaters are on and then if we come over here to this side and get in there you can see that we have 20 amps there if you can see that and we've got one heater on there and then if we check our individual wires see how well that light lights everything up we are going to have 20.6 there and then we have another one right here and you can see 21.4 so our amp draw has verified that our heaters are on so now when we switch the meter over here to the magic w all kinds of good stuff is going to start to happen so what we need to do watts is a combination of our amp draw and our voltage so we're on our 60 amp there on the black wire we are now going to put our test leads up here you see we've got our test leads there and field piece has done a really good job with watts here because they've utilized the dual display the top line is our power factor so we have a power factor of one and then you see down there on the bottom like we were talking about we're 9.73 kilowatts so that's right there at our 10 kilowatts that we are expecting on that 60 amp breaker now you guys can leave some comments below if you are an expert on power factor and watts and all this stuff because i'm not this is my first meter with that on there and i'm not going to pretend like i am the watts guru but my basic understanding of power factor is the closer you are to one the better you are because that means all the power that's coming into the unit is being consumed by the unit if your power factor is lower then that means that the unit's not using all the power you're putting in there and so far playing around with this setting I have found a couple of outdoor units that are running like a 0.53 or a 0.75 and I'm not exactly sure what's going on there because the capacitor was fully charged and I know Jim Bergman was talking to Zach about that one time and he said that 
the capacitor on the outdoor unit is trying to get that power factor as close to one as it can and that's why the capacitor has to be properly sized and you should never change the size of a capacitor. So that kind of makes sense but then it didn't really make any sense why I didn't have anywhere close to a power factor of one with a fully charged capacitor. So if any of you guys out there know a little bit more about that than I do, leave that in the comments below. Now, another thing that field piece has done on the bottom, you see that we've got a W, but we have two other settings. If we hit our select button, we now have, if you see down in that lower right hand corner, we have VAR and I just scribbled down some notes here out of the instruction booklet if you can see this so the VAR pertains to reactive power and that has to do with inductors and capacitors in the system and then if we hit that select button one more time now you can see that change to a VA just a yeah VA and then VA says that man, that light is glaring VA is the combination of reactive power and real power without phase angle consideration now guys that's a little above Shannon's pay grade I am not an engineer I'm not an expert so I really don't completely understand that but it seems to me that that last setting the VA is the total of the other two put together so your watts and then the VAR both of those totaled are going to be the VA reading but field pieces put a lot on that setting I've, I've never seen that on another meter but let's go ahead and grab our 30 amp over here okay so now we're going to do the same thing we're clamped onto it now we're going to take our test leads and we're just going to come up here to the top and we're going to grab our voltage and we're going to start beeping and you see again we have a power factor of one and our kilowatt is 5.213 so that's one 5kw heater so that all adds up there. Now, if you're wondering, does it make any difference with the test leads? They say the red lead is supposed to go on the wire that the clamp is on. It doesn't make any difference with the reading. I'm gonna switch them over and do them the opposite the way I had them before. The reading is gonna be the same. Let's turn the backlight back on. The reading is the same, but it will put a negative dash mark up there to the left hand side of that five kind of like uh, when you're checking DC volts and you'll get that little reverse dash mark comes up there that lets you know that your test leads are in reverse so I'm gonna flip them over and do that again and sometimes it will put that little negative dash up there but it's not on this one for whatever reason but anyway it is the same reading both ways so it really doesn't matter which way you put your test leads but you may or may not see a little negative dash mark come up over there but that is the watts feature on the new SE 480 I know that's the one feature most of you guys were wanting to see a video on. So hopefully you've enjoyed seeing these videos of the meter in action. Maybe that'll help you make a decision whether this is going to be a meter for you or not. It is a pretty solid meter. It's got a lot going on for it. Um, if you want the swivel head and lead storage and a couple of other things, you can pay another 50 bucks and go with the SE 680 but the 480 has everything that I need on it and a few things I don't really need but I like to know it's there if I ever need it it's going to be there so 
anyway guys like I said if you know some more about power factor and how it's applied out in the field and how to interpret some of those readings be sure and leave a comment below let us all know what's going on with that if you know anything more about what the VAR and VA is leave that in the comments below because I would really like to know a little more about that myself and you know what's actually going on with that and how to interpret that reading on this meter but that showed us our 10kw and our 5kw over here so that's our watts feature that's just one more thing for us to play around with all right you guys if you have any questions leave me a comment below like and subscribe and i will catch you on the next one